Well, the inevitable's happened. Tony Mowbray's became Middlesbrough manager, and if we're honest, he ticked more boxes than any of the other candidates. He knows the mindset of the public here in Teesside. He was a great captain, inspirational leader. Um, his team play good football, and he's a man of honesty, integrity, and he's got principles. And there's not a lot of people at our club, or any club for that matter, uh, possess those qualities. There's no doubt he's got a difficult job in his hands. I mean, uh, we're limited. We've no left back. We've no outside right. We've no pace in the side. We've no money. Uh, but Mowbray's here. I'm sure he'll give the, the team in the town an instant boost. And obviously we're looking for a, a perfect start Saturday against Bristol City at the Riverside. I'm confident that Mowbray's name will boost the, the crowd on Saturday. There'll be at least 10,000 extra on the crowd. I do believe that. I mean, he's as big joining his hometown club as Kevin Keegan was going to Newcastle United. Um, as I say, he's got a lot of work to do. There's a lack of pace in the side. Uh, a lack of quality, some people question that. But it's up to Mowbray to galvanise the side and sell a confidence and belief that's been clearly lacking this season. And there's no perfect way uh, to get off a great start this coming Saturday. Uh, I'm confident we can do it. And I'm not saying we're going to finish in the, the top two. I think those two have gone. And Cardiff and Kupiara, I think they're running away with it. Can we make the playoffs still enough games and enough time to achieve that? Um, Personally, I think we're finishing the top 10. Whether we make the Premier League is another matter.